All right, so today I've got the Huawei P60 Pro and this phone is just amazing. Now, if it's a selfie camera or the back camera, both can capture videos in 60 frames per second in 4K. So today we will talk about the battery life, the specs, a little bit more about the camera. And first up, let's start with the unboxing. So when you open up the box, the first thing that pops up is the beautiful smartphone with a huge rear camera. I grabbed myself the black version, but there's also a white version of this phone as well. Further down, you will find the usual paper stuff, the SIM card remover, and a free silicon case, which I always like to see. Right beneath that, you will find your 88 watts fast charger and your USB Type A to USB Type C cable. And that's it. So let's check out some of the specs and the design. All right, the Huawei P60 Pro is a rather large smartphone with a 6.67 inch LTPO OLED display with 120 Hz with 2700 by 1220 pixel resolution. As for the front protection, we get Kunlun glass and if we flip the phone around, you already see the large main camera and two more smaller dots for the ultra wide and the telephoto lens. Compared to the last year's P50 Pro, this one has got quite a few upgrades like a faster charging speed, upgraded display and chipset, and a bigger battery. Now, as you can see, the display curves around the edges of the phone towards the aluminum frame. And as for the back, you get that clean matte black surface on which you really don't see too many fingerprints. If we dial deeper into the display settings, the 120 Hz refresh rate definitely feels and looks great. But you can also lower this one down to just 60 Hz to save some of your battery life or leave it in a dynamic mode that switches between both of these modes. Also, the screen resolution is adjustable. By default, it is set to the smart resolution settings, but you can change between the full 2700 by 1220 pixel resolution and a lower 1890 by 854 pixel resolution, which is the power saving mode. Also, if you tilt the phone to either side, you'll see that all of the viewing angles look the same, plus the black bezel all around the phone are minimal and they don't get in your way. Now, if you want to watch some movies on this bugger or just some video clips on TikTok and YouTube, the P60 Pro does a hell of a job. You get stunning colors that are vivid and poppy, sharp contrast, that small safari camera on the top end, all the phone really doesn't get in your way and it's overall a great experience. When it comes to the audio, the P60 Pro has a pair of stereo speakers on the bottom which get loud and the quality of the sound is great as well. So here goes a quick example. On the bottom of the box we get our usual paper stuff and inside this row we get our magnetic charging cable with a USB Type-C connection. Now when it comes to the battery capacity, the Huawei P60 Pro has a larger battery than the last year's model. This one has a 4850 mAh battery that will last you at least a day or two depending on your usage. Also the charging speed got improved by a lot. So you now have a 88 watts fast charging brick with both a USB Type-C and Type-A connection and in my testing it charges from 0 to about 83% in just half an hour. There's also support for 50 watts wireless and reverse wireless charging. The P60 Pro runs on MUI 13.1 which is based on Android but doesn't support Google services nor apps which is a small letdown. Therefore, this phone relies on Huawei services and apps. Of this phone, there are two different sizes. There is a 256 gigs and 8 gigs of RAM version and a larger but also more expensive version with 512 and 12 gigs of RAM. I have the smaller version and checking out the storage, you see that about 15 gigs are already used up by the system. Of course, you will also find a fingerprint sensor underneath the display, which I would say works great. And you have a face detection as well that once again works without problems. So I mentioned that there are no Google apps available on the P60 Pro, but there are a few workarounds like with Gbox that lets you install Google apps, which makes this phone more attractive. Now, besides that, this phone is packed with some features. So similar to the iPhone, you have a separate dropdowns for your notifications and your control center. The P60 Pro also supports larger folders. Just long press on any of your folders to enlarge it or to shrink it. And also all of the apps stay accessible with one single touch. Swiping down opens up the search feed and a cool feature is that you can combine and stack widgets. Just get over to your widget services, add mini widgets and then just long press on a widget and drag it over to another one. Pretty simple. Now there are of course also a lot of other features as well like a one-handed mode, multi-windows, shortcuts and gesture controls like you can knock twice on the screen with your knuckle to take a quick screenshot or knock twice 
with two knuckles to record the screen. So basically all the features that you know from previous Huawei smartphones in that price range. So there is a good thing and a bad thing about the chipset. So the P60 Pro has the Snapdragon Gen 8 Plus Gen 1, but unfortunately it doesn't come with 5G connectivity and only supports 4G, which can be a small bummer if you want to watch your movies on the go or play your games. So I played my usual games and there was nothing to complain about this phone. It felt like the frame rate stayed pretty much consistent throughout my gaming sessions and the phone didn't get so hot. Now looking at the benchmark scores, the Huawei P60 Pro doesn't disappoint one bit. It gets really high scores and is definitely good enough for some heavy gaming. Now finally over to the camera. Now the P60 Pro has a 48 megapixel main camera with OIS and a variable aperture that you almost never see on a smartphone. It has a 48 megapixel telephoto camera with once again optical image stabilization and a 13 megapixel ultra wide lens. The Sapphire camera is also no letdown. This one is a 30 megapixel ultra wide camera with which you can shoot videos in 4K and 60 frames per second and supports HDR and panorama. Now the back camera can also capture videos in 4K and 60 frames per second, but also has a lot of different camera modes. So you get the usual portrait and night mode, but also the aperture, a pro mode, and so many more like a multicam, super macro and others. Now the portrait mode works very good. This one has a few extra features. With the beauty mode enabled, you can soften the picture, add some more tone to the skin and tweak the contour. The back camera only has a slider with 1 to 10 on the beauty scale. So here are some more pictures of me using the ultra wide angle lens, the normal and the zoom, which works actually very good. The pictures still look pretty decent even with a 3.5x zoom and more. The macro shots came out just great and this phone can really compete with all of the top phones right now. And guys, there we have it. That's the Huawei P60 Pro. Now, I've also covered many other smartphones in that price range if you can't really decide on which you want to spend your money on. Just click that video right here to get right to it. And I guess with that being said, I will see you in the next one. Peace.